Okay, thank you. Um, first off, I want to thank the conference, first off, because um, I was invited here in 2016 by Rochelle, and uh, I saw on a pamphlet in a room back there the Julia Robinson Math Festival, a sample of math puzzles compiled by Nancy Blackman, who's pro probably here. Nancy, you hear some noise? Okay, very good. Yeah. Well, Nancy, I'm Bill. Okay, very good. Um, and um, she had in there a problem by Alan Frank. How do you divide and distribute five muffins to three people so that every student gets five thirds and nobody gets a tiny sliver? We want to actually get the uh, smallest piece as large as possible. So um, one way to do it is to give Alice, uh, is to cut the muffin, oh, yeah, okay. I can't point to anything, okay, okay. it's over there. Yeah, it's to give, um, cut the first two muffins, not at all. The, the first three don't cut. The next two cut one third, two third. And give Alice, you can see, one and two thirds. Give Bob, oh, Bob Hearn, there you are, uh, one and two thirds. And give Carol one and one third and one third, and that'll do it. The smallest piece is one third. In a longer talk, I'd ask you, can you do better? We don't have time for that. Yes, you can do better, or I can do better. Probably you could too. Anyway, so you cut the mu first muffin half-half. I prefer to call that six-twelfths, six-twelfths. And cut the rest of the muffins into five-twelfths, seven-twelfths. And give Alice six-seven-seven. Seven, give Bob six-seven-seven. Seven, and give Carol five-five-five-five. Five, five. Question arises, now the smallest piece is five-twelfths. Can you do better than that? You can't. Uh, it turns out that briefly, um, you can assume that every muffin is cut in exactly two pieces, and therefore there are 10 pieces total. If there are 10 pieces in three students, some student gets four pieces. If a student gets four pieces and has five thirds, then that student must have five, a sum muffin of size less equal to five thirds times one quarter or five twelfths. So you can't do better than five twelfths. Great, good to know. Um, and what of that? Well, yada, 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 two years later, eight co-authors, a 200-page paper, you can Google Gassarch muffins, and um, for one less than S less than 50, number of students between 150 and M to 160, we have the answer, except for nine cases, that's not true. On the M track up here, I cracked four more cases, but I lost two other cases, so I don't quite know how that sounds. I think I'm under nine now. Um, here's an example, though, of how bizarre the answers are. 43 muffins, 33 students. There is no procedure, smallest piece, 91 over 264. There is, oh, sorry, there is a procedure, smallest piece, 91 over 264, but you can't do better than that. We have three theorems and two techniques to find limits how well you can do. We have techniques for procedures, and we have three surely true conjectures. OK. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, as I was saying, sample result, here it is. 40 muffins, 33 students, uh, set up four. And um, also, here are the open problems. Uh, muffins, students, lower bound, upper bound. So for example, 41 muffins, 19 students. Um, we, can't do, we can do 1965 over 4560. We can't do 1966 over 4560. And we do not know where the truth lies. Um, some conjectures. We, uh, we believe the answer depends only on M over S, the ratio of muffins to students. There are, more, there are also more conjectures. And a question, is the problem itself in poly time? You can do it with a mixed int program, but the program itself is very large compared to the input, so that's not really an answer. And again, there are more open questions. OK, oh, and um, I probably earned some, some dollars. So questions? Okay. Thank you. <laughs>